Good day, guys. How you going? Easter Friday. How are ya? Homes is adventure rides and camp cooking. Obviously, um, we're all in isolation, so we can't do that. So let's go for a walk around the property I've used today to do the lawns. Bit of garden. And uh, I think it's about 11.30 now, I think. And uh, maybe we'll whip up some hamburgers. Anyway, let's have a walk around the rancho and I'll show you my place. There you go. Front yard. This is uh, Sunbury HQ. So when I make the uh, bike videos and sometimes you see me riding home, this is uh, where I'm going. I'd like to go and get some wood chips through this whole ordeal, but I'm not allowed to even do that, so. Anyway, can only do what we're gonna do. Go for a bit of a walk. See what's going on. Everyone's home, as they should be. As I said, we'll do a little bit of a cook again later. I think we'll use the old, uh, I think, what are they called, griddles? You can do the old hamburgers on there. I did the Oz Pig last night. So there we go, we got some burgers. I'm gonna do a uh, bit of a pork for dinner. I don't know whether we have them in rolls or gravy and the whole bit. We'll work that out later. And there it is. Dad's garage. Sunbury HQ. I was uh, thinking about lighting a fire in the backyard, but uh, looks like it's kind of going to rain, so I don't know if I'll do that. Anyway, that's what my intentions were, and that little drum there. So, yeah, this is my backyard. Need a little bit more of a tidy up in the garden beds, a bit of re-chipping. But, I was planning on lighting that. It's an upside down Weber lid on a, on a uh, X chimney stand. So, but, I don't know. It's gonna rain, who knows. Spin years around. Now, I was looking here before, there's a spar sitting in there. What I need to do is get a nice mobile or shell sign or something like that. Um, I like me tin signs. So, I'll get something for there. Be a little bit of a mess corner over there. Everyone's got one of those. Mrs. Birds, she likes her little birds. Not me so much. Yeah. So anyway, as I do a bit more stuff today and do a bit of cooking, I'll get you back. We'll have a bit of chin wag, a bit of bullshit and make another segment. So, um, catch you when I start cooking. G'day guys. I did decide to light the fire. Gonna uh, sit back and have a few brews this afternoon. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain. It's come good over there. So, I have started cooking. I think it's about 12.30. Got uh, the burgers on the go. Bit of bacon. We'll go on and have a check. So, we're all happening there. Looking good. Using the turn soon. Using all parts of the house. Have a look at that, eh? I've pre-made the rolls with 
with everyone's various toppings because everybody has to be different. Some want tomato sauce, some want this Nando's stuff. So the plan of attack is, once all those burgers are cooked and bacon, and also some of them are more a few chippies, and the idea is I'm going to whack those chippies just around the edge of those styrene containers. And have a look at that, everyone's disappeared from the land room because the camera's out. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, they've, they've only been on a short time, so they're not ready yet. So, when I start building the burgers, I'll let you have a look at the final product. Until then, I'll catch you later. Welcome back to Holmes's Camp Cooking build a burger so righty -o. as I said to you before I've got them all done there and I know um, who's who because they've all got different tastes so I'll put them together as I know who's who they're only little burgers these are actually like sort of small rolls too but I think they're going to be pretty damn good and then we'll push down. Now, a little bit of bacon on each one and a little bit more. And then, a bit of bacon. Bacon. Top it up. Now, the youngest son. His tomato sauce. But he's also mustard. So he's good to go. So that's one burger. Wag him on there like so. That's Melissa who's filming. Just tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gives me the nod. So that's one burger. Done. You want any chips? No. So, look at that, eh? Old McDonald's style. Well, Lisa. And the reason why I'm closed is because we had the chips on the other one. So, Jesse, Melissa, me, Jake, Mum. No. Jake, me, Mum. Because we've got beetroot. So, that's Jake. He wants his Nando's. Oh no, that's his now. Oh, I'm just going to go to the sauce today. So, will wifey. Righty A. Last instalment, guys. I haven't done too many chips because Melissa don't want chips. We know that the good wife doesn't want. Too many chips, off with that, off with that. A bit of chicken salt. Yeah, I'm going hard with it. Not coming out very good. So, what I wanted to do was, uh, I just wanted to do a little surprise for them. I don't think they know I'm doing this. Little surprise there. They can go there. You know, that's Jake. Split them in there. Cup for the old man. Excuse the hands. I've washed them. I've bloody washed them, alright. We've all washed them, haven't we? We've had so many bloody clean hands before. Like this. I'll give him the Jake, he's a grown boy. Right, so that's over there, that's over there. Um, just gonna wipe the old hands. There we go, hamburgers for lunch. That looks all right, doesn't it? I'm going, I'm going to the fire to eat my hamburger and have a beer. I'll see you later.
I did manage to find the sign. There we go. Jack Russell. and low. Yeah, we've dropped down to about 150. So if I can just maintain that, because I'm in no hurry, firing it on the bloody river. I'll catch us later. Right, yeah, guys, bringing up the speed. Just um, frying off a bit of bacon. Finely diced. Made already some gravy. We'll heat it up a little bit later on when the meat's ready. Just gonna keep moving that around. So the idea is when the pork's ready, when the pork's ready, um, When the pork's ready, all my shit will be ready. So, I've got the gravy ready, I've got the bacon ready, the pork's just about done, the spuds are getting very close. Uh, I'll make a tray up and I'll do a little bit of a baked spud, gravy, pork on the side, 
It's going to be bloody terrific. I'll catch you when I'm serving up. Welcome back, guys. Uh, potatoes are done. Meat's done. I didn't make you hang around for the carving of it, so if you want to pan in there, pull this out and give the guys. Got some good crackle there. Some nice meat. I've diced it up nice and small and thin because the intentions is just to put it in these styrene, um, whatever you want to call them. And you just eat it with a fork. You won't really need a knife too much. That's the idea. So we'll build it. I'll chop one up. I'll start it. I just wanted to show you that the spuds turned out pretty good. What we're going to do here is just open her up a bit. More of an open up. There's only uh, three of us having a baked spud tonight. Um, a bit of a wash over there. Because the other cup we're having uh, a Sanger. So, just a dob of butter. This again, and go to your doctor with this because you won't like it. But bad bloody luck. So, what we want to do is a bit of coleslaw in there. I've just got to think what I'm doing because the sun doesn't want any uh, gravy. But he will do this. So we will. We will put those two over there. Me and the good wife are pretty much the same. Thought I forgot it, didn't you? You're going to have some sour cream. Generous. Gotta have the sour cream with this bud. Nice big dollop. Beautiful. There's not too much left there. Camp cooking in the kitchen. There we go. I'll whack that over there. Cheese. I don't have a baked spud without cheese. Bang, bang. Over there, some chives. Just for an extra bit of flavour. Now for the good stuff. I'm gonna whack some pork in there, all nicely diced up. No problem there. That's there like that. Ah, I nearly forgot. Some crispy bacon bits. I nearly forgot that. Good. Everybody's got to get a little bit of crackling. Others. 
Me son won't have gravy. I don't know what he's doing there. Okay, one more thing. Apple sauce. Now that is a bloody good dinner. Straight out of the pizza oven. Thanks for joining me again. If you like what I did today, don't hesitate to give us a like. Something in the comments. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.